Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb and today is my June TBR. So June is among us and this month I'm feeling like reading a lot, like I'm just back into the reading mood. So I picked eight books on my TBR and I'm going to talk about at the end the two books I'm currently reading. I'm just going to mention them, like glaze over them because I just filmed my May wrap up before this and I discussed how far I was through those books in that video and I'm filming this one back to back so it'd be kind of redundant. So the first book I put on my June TBR is The Island by Ellen Hildebrand and basically I have not read this book of hers, it's the only one I own that I haven't read of hers and she has a new one coming out this month that sounds really really good and I just feel like reading this one finally because I've been wanting to read this for a while, it's just with, usually I read one of her books each summer and I've usually been going to the new one or the one from the previous summer so I haven't really picked this one up yet so I hope to get to that one but that's kind of more last priority on my TBR but I thought I'd mention that nonetheless. Then I want to read Funny Girl by Nick Hornby. This is one I've wanted to read for a while and I really hope I get to this too. Um, I had this on my TBR for last month. A few of these books are from last month's TBR but I want to still read them. I also put back on my TBR November 9 by Colleen Hoover. This should be a pretty fast one to get through and she has a new book I believe coming out in August I want to read. This is the only one I own that I haven't read from her. Oh scratch that I haven't read the one novella but the full length books this is the only one I haven't read that I own by her so. I want to read this and I've heard such good things. Then I have a reread on my list but I haven't read this book since grade 7 so obviously I didn't have my YouTube channel by then so I haven't reviewed it on there either. Reviewed it yet. Reviewed it on there. Reviewed it yet. So that is The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger but I think last year the year before I picked up the sequel to this and I really want to get to the sequel and I forgot to read this last summer and it's quite actually looking at it now it's not that hefty it's only over 400 pages but when I first read it it was very hefty it's very beat up but I want to reread it because obviously I forgot a lot of what happened. The next book I'm reading is actually my first, like it'll be my first kind of new read or new book that I pick up this month and it's Ross Poldark by Winston Graham and this is the book series that the TV show is based off of. Me and Carrie, you guys have probably heard me mention her because she's the one who created the quick fire questions tag. Her blog is also booklover1989 so you should go check that out. We are doing a read along for this and we're starting the 1st of June. And I'm so excited because I have the old TV show like from I believe the 80s or maybe the late 70s. I don't own the new one yet but um, I can't watch those yet because I think they're the old ones based off the first four books so I don't want to watch it till I read the first four books. But we've been talking about this and I'm just super excited for this read along. I've been looking so forward to this. I have quite a few fun read alongs planned and it's just really exciting. Um, and then I want to reread Vicious by Sarah Shepard, the 16th book in the Pretty Liar series. Um, this is for the PLL group that me and Jill co-host. It's the last book. We actually officially end in July because we still have to read Allie's Pretty Little Lies, but I'm really excited to reread this with everybody. Well, some people will be reading it for the first time, so it'll be really exciting to see their reaction. The last two books on my TBR, once again, one is a reread and one is a partial reread, and that is Cinder and Scarlet by... It's not even a frame. Cinder and Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I've only read half of Scarlet. I haven't read the series. Please don't put spoilers because um, last time somebody did put spoilers. Good thing I was warned by somebody, so that was good. But basically, so many people have been talking about this. Um, I reread, I read Scarlet originally, I mean Cinder in 2014 and then jumped into Scarlet. And then I got sidetracked because there was a part that was kind of boring. But I was talking to Thomas and he said there was a boring part. And he said that once you get through it, it gets picks up and that the third book is really good. And not only has he said that, but a lot of people on book two have said the third book is phenomenal in the series and they really like winter too. So I really want to continue on because I want to have the series finished before I pick up her new book that comes in November, I believe, because it sounds really interesting. So I want to at least have this series read by her. So I have some kind of closure on her series. So I don't have so many series open too that helps. And yeah, I just want to try to get through this book and maybe at least half of this book by the end of the month. At least this book. I also have a review of Cinder already up on my channel. Um, so if you want, you can check that out. Also, the two books I'm currently reading, it's a reread. The 15th book in the pre series, Toxic, and A Night in with Marilyn Monroe by Lucy Holiday. And these are two that I started. It's the last day of May when I'm filming this. So I'm going to be reading them into June and also adding Ross Pole Dark, which will be my starting point. And yeah, I'm really excited to read these books. I don't know how much my TBR is going to change because I do feel like the books on there but some of them I might switch out but for now I'm going to try to stick with these ones and yes um, definitely let me know how many books are on your TBR for this upcoming month and I'll see you guys later. Bye.